Secondly, I would like from the bottom of my heart to just thank your reverend for this great opportunity to invite me to come and minister to this congregation, to a church of this magnitude. I'm really humbled, Ninchepa. He tried several times to reach to me, and I was just very busy with other things until we had to make it. Thank you, Reverend, to invite me to share your pulpit and just for me to feel at home. You know, Ukoko Naba, you know, Shitanga Natu Puisha Church Service. And I'm even hesitant to say something else because they like following. They may even be following this service. But we would have been done and gone home. But I'm happy to be home and to have this freedom to preach without any limitation. I don't think we have attached any time to this service. Already we are above one hour. For them, one hour, they will start sneaking out. One hour. So I'm going to compromise. I'm compromise. I'm going Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I would like us to pause for a word of prayer by reciting the words of the psalmist when he said, Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable before you, O oh Lord, our Redeemer. Our rock of ages, the ancient of days, the God of now, the God of St. Matthews, the God of each one of you. This is the God that we worship, even as we are understanding the times or the seasons and what to do, how, when, where, understanding the times. If you have to enjoy 20, 30 years ago, that which you enjoy now. Now it's about deity, or maybe you should be thinking about taking yourself to heaven early. So to Ali Chinja. Because we have to understand and to go with time. Therefore, I open my book to an uncle in your corner. She said that you, if we could change Kumwesu to la pepper, that will mona na panchita yo. Because I have to understand the times, I have to understand the context. If I have to win them to Jesus Christ, so understanding is very, very important. No kuchila, you know, when you were not a Christian. And now you are a Christian. If you feel enough, you change. If you feel that you are pity, you can avant to feel your wish. You are or put it on us. You sell a thing to that. If you feel that you are a thing, that you never feel more thing, then there should be a problem. There should be something wrong. Things should change because times have changed. Seasons have changed. You are now a child of God. You have been given the power to become a child of God. Before I go any further, General Secretary, I recognize your praises. And I'm excited that you are here as I minister at St. Matthew's congregation. Yes, please. 
understanding the times and what to do. Allow it's very important. Even Jesus said, You have eyes, but you can't see. You have ears, but you cannot hear. You can't understand. Blessed are those who understand, who hear, and do what is being taught and said. You know, if in Tunang, if you go off, when you become a Christian, if in Tufiasela, no good change. Just as we read in First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32, and of the children of Issachar, you know, where David is coming from. And even his son Solomon, who understood the time, even when he had grown in the palace, how his father struggled to lead. He didn't have a son of anointed Solomon. He went and got a lot of gold, a lot of livestock to come and say, Thank you, Lord, for installing me as king. Na dotela. A pene sacrificial giving, sacrificial lamb. That's what he gave. And when he went into sleep, in 1 Kings chapter 3, we are told God appeared to him. God went to him. For me to be chosen among my brothers, among many, to change from one position to another. I have to give sacrificially. And he did that. And God appeared to him and said, Solomon, finish your life for you to learn to cheat. I'm a people you have in high Africa. Ukulenga le satente muke. And Solomon said, My God and my Lord, oh, what I'm asking from you is wisdom and discernment and nothing else because I know. People are hard to lead. I need that wisdom to preside over the affairs of these people. I know how sometimes my father struggled. But I want that wisdom so that I can preside over justice. And God said, my son, because you have not asked about riches, you have not asked about mansions, you, are no, you have not asked about gold or silver, you know? You have not asked about all these things. Even long life, you have not asked about that. You know? What you tell imagine you have to go to the You know? You have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. In and therefore, I end a lament to make a quatting and then I want to valet Shiva. In and therefore, you know, if you have a movie, if you have one to a fire, even when you are declaring, if you are talking about their spiritual life and how they can move to another level, they will not be saying, I receive, I receive. But if I declare vehicles, people, I receive. But Solomon said wisdom and discernment so that I can be presiding over justice. And you know, when he asked about those two important things, God said, my son, because you have not asked about these other things and you have not been all over, I will give you the wisdom that you have asked and discernment. But not only that, I also give you fame. I also give you riches. Riches that no one will ever have 
on this planet earth because you have asked wisely. Eh? We push a wino. Nephew mana alaku pera. Na makana alaku pera. And you have not even asked that we should get rid of your enemies. Eh? You have not even asked for me to take the lives of your enemies. But you have asked for wisdom. You have care for others. You want to lead well. You want to govern well. Not like any other mediocrity way of doing things. You want systems. Proper systems. And God granted him that. To cut the story short, he was famous everywhere. Such that when other kings and queens heard, they said, let us go and prove. Okay, he may have wisdom. He may have discernment. But maybe he doesn't have the wealth that we have. The queen of Sheba started off to go to Solomon. To go and see this and hear about this wisdom. When she reached there to cut the story short. Just, you know, reaching by the gate. Just by the gate. The queen of Sheba saw what wisdom can do. The organization. Just at the gate of the palace. The security guards. Just their organization. Before she even reaches the palace. Did I sleep in the palace? L.Y. Samona. Aba Wonfi, how they are organized. Ukwisa ingila mu palace. Uko mwanefi efintu babika. If you want to organize. If you want to Aba Wonfi badia. Bible yalanda mu chapter 1 Kings chapter 3. Ukutila. Queen Sheba, she ran out of breath. Oku Papa. If you have it, don't save your organization because the wisdom was working. The revelations of discernment of God were working. We are good tempo, good ya. Sangef your bakula. Sangef your baby gave into. If you are Pusana call, Queen of Sheba Kulanda I thought I was rich. I thought I had wisdom. This is something else. I can't imagine. I can't imagine understanding the times and what to do. Solomon. Not only that, how to acquire wealth, how to connect himself to different people and how to get all these things to build the palace, to build the temple, to govern. Kumupela wisdom we shabako. Nedi ale tumbulu lavan to baishwa no kuishibokutila. Ah. This is another. This is another. You remember, it was Solomon. It was Solomon when those two women were fighting over one baby when this woman had killed lie on her own baby and then they go for justice just from the conversation that they had the wisdom had to preside and the owner of the child got her child hallelujah church you know when you are coming out from being another Christian to being a Christian, especially having passed through all these prayer and fasting that you have been passing through, honestly, God wants something big to change in your life. Especially to learn even from
from the past because Solomon had learned from the past how his father had governed. He says, for me, enough is enough. I'll govern in a different way. And because God was with him, he really governed. And this takes me to another book that we were supposed to read. Because it's a long book from Esther chapter 4. It's a very familiar chapter. Twari Shiva, Idea Kwa Mordecai, and Esther. You know, because she tapped into this wisdom. Idea fin to fia kosa. Idea fin to fia kakana. Like you did, St. Matthews. You came on your knees. You prayed. You fasted. You did not only starve yourself, but you fasted and prayed. Esther challenges her people, even as she was an orphan. But because she knew God, God changed her status. God does not look at our background. God does not look where we come from. You may be the one that God is targeting even to change the whole family. Esther challenged the people. Na tu pepe. Na tu kake no kudia. Na ina wine na rati tefi. Because ya di shive. Na bale pepa. Na mwifata tule mwona na amen so ya muntu nse. If into ni shifira chitika in the atmosphere, in the spirit, if into fire humba. Even when Haman plotted to kill Mordecai, to kill the Jews, because things had shifted in the spirit, their enemy had to make a useless mistake. In your body, could banquet. Esther, Yala, and Dokutila, this is what Haman is doing. Now, I'm going to talk with them some wish. To our Fokutila, Haman. Ale Peter. No, but because God had a purpose for everything and he wanted to sort out their problems. Haman kuya polina pani Esther. Nishnaba nabe kala naba king. King everi ah, can't she where you are a problem? Ulele te fiabufi, can't she if you want to do kutil if you lela and fiabufi, it is true. Mwana if you watch it, musende you you. No kutila. I am muchine in the chida chine. I am be the modekai. Nama juice. Uyu we ne wala in gira. I want to tell you today that if you have prayed, if you have fasted, if there is that enemy, if there is that sickness, it will bow to the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Avalwani venu. They will make silly mistakes so that God can take you to your destiny. So that God can answer your prayer. Your enemies will make grave mistakes for you to be elevated. Tell your Esther child, she was just an orphan. Queen Varsity. Kumulandu wakuti laka no kuchite cho queen Echo king ya lefuwa Echo mfuku ya lefuwa ya Akana Little did Esther know That that was her elevation That was her promotion That was her Going up and lifting To become queen I came to tell you that inga kwa ni wamu ntu michusha. Weather ni kunchito. Weather ni paneba. Weather ni pangande. Weather ni pesa. That person will make a mistake for you to take your rightful position. You take your rightful position. If you are a child of God. If you have fasted. If you have prayed. I came to assure you that God is on your side. Because he answers prayers. He answers prayers. Understanding the times and what to do. Solomon knew what to do. 
Esther knew what to do. Limo fueme na Christu. We just want to be on the same place even when the word of God has been preached which should you know be saying us to move from one level to another. A year ago I was preaching in Kaunda Square and I challenged the women I said, you know, time has come for us Christians to take the rightful positions because God does not want us to be on the same place, in the same position. He wants us to move from one level to another. I told them, even if you have never gone to school, I'm challenging you because God breaks protocols. I would like you to go to Parkland, open companies. Get papers. You do not need to spend a lot of money. But just go. Because you want to move. You want to make a shift. And things will not just find you where you are. Because when you are a Christian, when you are a child of God, when you are filled with the Spirit of God, when the revelation comes, act upon it. But some people take very long to act. Some thought that I was just talking or I was naive. But there was one woman who took that seriously. She went to the park she, 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 she asked people, she, she contacted people, they helped her. She filled in forms and she did everything to cut the story short and she was given the license. And she started going from one organization to another. And maybe off the camera, she ended up to be at one of the motels I won't mention because it's a government one. And she was given a tender to be supplying tomatoes, to be supplying methylated spirit to be... You know, she started just slowly. And then she had to find my daughters. Where is the reverend? Because she didn't know that I was not here. She said, I want to give a 500 tithe because when she came, this is what she said. And I acted upon it. And this is what is happening. And she said, I don't want to give you cash. I want you to give me an account so that I can deposit myself. Because I know that this is a seed. I want to plant it because I know that at the end of the day it will reproduce and reproduce and she did that and right now she's flourishing then when the friends found out that this is what had happened they started also doing this but you know the grace of God does not work like that when you hear the voice, when you hear it, act upon it. Work upon it. It may tarry, but surely one day it will come to pass. Because we serve a God who does not want us to be in one place. You know? Because sometimes we even internalize our being. But it's not God's wanting for us to be at the same place. You know? Even when you are being troubled at your workplace, I came to assure you that when you are a child of God, it will be either God will remove that boss so that you can be elevated, or God will find a way for you to reach your destiny. God will make that boss to make a grave mistake so that in your eyes, in your life, you can know that God is God. He's never pleasing in justice because he's a God of justice. Understanding the times and what to do. Solomon understood the times and he did and he flourished because he was a, 
a child of God, a chosen king. When we become Christians, you know, we are king's children. When you are a child of a king, you have special treatment. There are things to be happening for you. Even if your past may be bad, even if you may be alone in the family, when God moves you, you will do it so that even in your family, you will be the light, you will be the first one to break even. Because you understand the times and what to do. Even when we tell you what to do, sometimes people think, no, it was just a preaching. There are some entrepreneurship courses here. Some people think, no, if you're Fiava Muchalo, life does not work like that. Because God wants to equip us. God wants, wants us to have things so that when there is need, instead of 1,000 kwacha, God does, because there are people who are blessed beyond 1,000 kwacha. They give as a sacrificial Love as a sacrificial giving. Even when they give, God knows how he's going to do it. Solomon gave. And God blessed him beyond measure. Even the fellow kings and queens, even in this world, people can be surprised because of your change. Because of your movement, atmosphere, ni anointing, Even when you do not have, you know, people will be saying, Ah, Reverend, this is shoe, I like it. Because it's anointed. You know what I mean? Oko mona fe skate na muna stila mu charity shop. People will be saying, Ah, Reverend, I like your skate. But it, it's from the charity shop. This is the beauty when you move in the wisdom and the discernment. If you love God with your heart, with your mind, everything about you will change. You know? Will change. Let me tell you something. When I just went, people were saying, no, your accent is very thick. We can't hear what, what. But after one month, they said, no, we can hear you clearly. I said, I've not changed the accent. It's the anointing that is making you to understand. You know, I came to prophesy to you this year in 2023. If you hold this book by its own, things will change and people will come and testify. Just your life. Don't look at where you are coming from. Don't look at your background. Don't look even at your education. It's not the education that works. It's not the connections of money that works. Our way, it's not. It's the grace and the anointing. If God anoints you, if God favors you, if God graces you, I tell you, even witchcraft does not work. Even your poverty does not work. Even your committee it doesn't work. Even your committee it doesn't work. When God is with you, just like he was with Esther, you know, ukuba sula chine chine. Even you know how many nanguba musala kuini ukuba sula because he's an orphan. She was nobody. You know, ukuba sula. 
But because they had the understanding of times, of seasons, and what to do, in the spirit they fought right, left, and descent. For me, a John Shisaka Manavantu Kunduisha Kumuvi, Pantu Ninjibo Kutila, Ninduisaka Mumupash. So now, where it's Defia Kumuvi, I don't care. Because you will win in Sina to Wakadi. Ndavasula. Because I know that my God is able. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Even beyond that which you ask. You know? Ukute mwalesa. Muchi. Muchi nena muchi shinka. You know? Because now my enemies ye no wakesa mukupapa. Ah! We show you. Ewu diye wale ikala mukaya andakadia. Aka maloba. We show you. Teu diyo wapone nyoyu. We show you. Mwadi ishibai diya family. They are very poor. Te te achi te choi yo. When God says yes, who can say no? I know Musuma Wakwale says he doesn't consult anybody. He just consults himself. Son and Holy Spirit. And they act on you. Provided you understand that you are a child of God. Like, you know, we are told to those who believe, to those who had faith, he gave them power to become children of God. A maka yes. Whether male or female, wherever you may be, look at Milan, you know, chance is given to all. It's not only to the wise, but chance is given to all. But God chooses whom to bless. If him we are very, very important, because if you don't understand the time, muri pachiri wabantu bale di la yole seka. Eh? Awa nenu umwa na pasa. He said ya kwati mule sansa muka nabo. He wani jela suwa dampo kula landa fimbi. Eh? He said ya musansa muka nabo. Eh? It doesn't work like that. Do the right thing. Udi mwana wako alesa. Nga wachitefyo. Iwa itu bi multiplication. Pafu ya baishi bangole enda no kwendo kutila. Uyu na leso yu. Nisimu na foni. Pafu. Pafu. Pafu ya baishi ba. Ita kwa tinanguli mwishila Ule isosha nongu isosha padile isa Ule pepa Ule pepa Shachila fo kulande Chilomba ndefo wa kulande You know, abantunga Mali ni love Especially mwewa kashana nawa lumendo If kwa isa foni They are in deep love, you know what I mean Kutu wa sanga na mwika la munga Ndero He 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 Iwe, what is going on at your TikTok? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Understanding the times, the seasons, Nefia Kuchita. You know, you know, Abantu Bambi, Ukwisa Kuchet, it's just a byway. Kabai Shoktila byway, Yari Kuata Fionse. Elo, eh, 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 se shanavantu kai noku, noku tu chinja. Ukubeza tufiri okuba. Ukuba in love na lesa. Fidia. Ita kwa ti abandu na nguba lela anda. Fidia wala nati. Ati uwa mabere tarangu wa nchila. Not if you. But fidia nachila anda. You know. Ita kwa ti. Na ngumula ande shani. Na ngumula. Abandu.
bali bali ya bali fiko kutali mwa difiko kutali na lesa wenu because na mwishiba uti na nangu apa fiko se apa but i know there will be divine intervention there will be divine connection na lesa kabili wish one for me yes yes christ if we take this book by its whole it is pingo tachipa ine ba adi fiengeresha pocha kwati ku fiengeresha elo kusala ndafia abantu bambi kutila tell your people not to bring their nonsense here kuti ba mi bepe shobufi kuti ba mulandi lobufi kuti ba but if you are in love the world pose ko na manu you just concentrate and be you know chatting with god rejoicing with god because you know that at the end of the day uwinga kupokolola ko fie chine ni nani nilesa uwinga kupale chine ni nani nilesa e busu mafe bwa e by boy finally because i don't want to go beyond the time kuti kuti wa ya lufianya when you go on the other side you lay as wasanga abantu bonse naba by the time you are saying le sapale chebo chako you know you might have heard this there was a couple that invited a pastor to go for a birthday celebration and then the husband presented a 1 million check to the wife muembe lupu babika pabaleja chawe ba pastor ba pale ba pastor ba pala to cut the story short ba pu isho kudya na fiyonzi na fiyonzi ba yati ba eko ku ku ashroom bathroom so pass the video the teacher key shall ya papen so ku send a check ya babika na mu bible iyabo abakashi if you buy said na mu epepo kali kuri excitement and they left baya kunga nda kumwabo ba pastor baya so kufika kunga nda bakashi you check ya ndi bafo ya bafo ya mchula you check ya ndi bai picha ba mwa mu send the check Senda sha ni ne ina bona chimi pela eh na senda sha eh are you out of your sense no but check sha ni twa twa se batatu batwa se batatu anjo furi o sendere o mini banani ni ni ba pastor we have to phone ni ba pastor ku senda na phone ku la kakasha ba pastor imo mwe bani na mu fwa fe bwino bwino check na tu fwa And that was after one week. Not for ya. Why for ya? That we want to check and we just three. My husband has refused. It should be you, pastor. Ish. Ero bebe dia o mwe ba. Tu mwa la ine ndi wa ka hede. Ero na ali fufu mo na nama people. And wishing you many, many more years. How can I retract my prayers again? Honestly and my declarations. Just go and check your Bible. One week, no, you can't go to the Bible. But when a Christ, more than if you go to the Bible, eh? No more lies, Sanga. Ukuya isula Bible. Where are you, Sanga? Ask me what happened afterward. That's your answer. understanding the times and what to do vanelio twalae twalaya mba ino 2023 for me i would like you know when i come back again reverend to hear testimonies from people that yes we fasted we prayed things in the atmosphere have shifted things have moved things have been elevated in the mighty name of Jesus because we are you know when you are a child of God will be dropping my tears God will be dropping my revelations God will be dropping my visions 
God will be dropping I'm a dream. Be attentive. Understand. Pray about it. You know? Listen, I know nobody in the other land. But we are so busy. Nefin to fiesu. Erofin bitapani nefo. Fear. You know, sometimes we like referring so much to the past. How it is fichitik. They are not special people. You are a special person wherever you are. Tell your neighbor that you are special. Tell yourself, I'm special. I'm special. It's a there's anointing in the to overflow. Eh? Ganingulu shai shiva. Irio leisa. Shau mayute. Shai shiva tumana wakwaresa. Hello, there's one of your mulu wakutila. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Mukamunefi abantu wakata mpoku la mutuke mbiro. Chika wakwati Nigeria ni fiumu. Kashi tsiriu. Hallelujah! If you are a servant, to are there for your kutila. To be visible, chalo chishive. Ukutila, we are there. His children who have been graced. Hmm? The rest is not only to the swift, not to the wise. But God gives the chance to Oh, Na imove ni chance yenu. I decree and declare this 2023. Under the sound of my voice. That God shall fulfill that which you desire. God shall take you to another level. God shall change the story of your family. God shall change the story of your job. God shall change the story of your life. God shall change the story of your children. Even your spouse. Even whatever you touch. Where you step. Where you go. Even the prayer. God shall change in Jesus' mighty name. If you receive, say amen. amen. Let's amupali. Let's amushukishe. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. May he keep you. May he be gracious to you. Above all, may he make his countenance upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's add him to my Let's add him to I can see some of you doing things that others have never done. I can see some of you because of that much faith that I'm seeing. God is shifting things in your families. Receive in Jesus' name.